Hi y'all, this is Larry from Deep South Texas. It's time to get my broccoli and cabbages planted into the garden. This broccoli, Green Magic Broccoli, it's, uh, it looks really good. And I have some early Jersey Wakefield cabbages and some flathead Dutch cabbages over here. I potted these up from my seed starting system about 10 days ago. I actually planted these on uh, October 1st and today is November 1st and it's time to get them in the ground. Now we got some rain last night. We're gonna get more rain this afternoon. So I wanna get them in the ground, give them some time to get settled in and I've got, oh, just only a couple hours to get that done before it starts raining here. So let's get started. So I've uh, laid out my plants where they're going to go over here and uh, some behind me over here. And it's time to start planting them. I'm going to have uh, 12 broccoli plants in here. And then I've taken one of each of my different kinds of cabbages and uh, I'm going to plant them in here to see how they do in the containers as well. I think they'll do good. Let's see if I can get these out of the cup. Yeah, they're out. Got uh, pretty good root development there. I don't even think these plants are going to know they've been moved. Okay, say we've got rain coming this afternoon, so I'm not even going to bother watering them in. We'll let that rain get them settled in. That worked pretty good. Let's move down and get another one here. Oh yeah, looks good. I think they're going to love it here. Well, let me get the, uh, the rest of them planted and then uh, we'll get back. So today it's November 4th. I got all my uh, broccoli and cabbages planted on November 1st, but just as I was finishing up, it started to rain. So I didn't, wasn't able to finish up this video on the 1st, but it's the 4th today. They're all in, they're all looking good. Let's take a closer look at them. So here they are. Again, I started these seeds on the 1st of October. Three weeks later, I potted them up. And uh, 10 days after that, I have them planted in the, in the garden. Most, most of these are, are broccoli. I have my cabbages planted someplace else, but I did plant uh, three cabbages out here with the broccoli just to see how they do in containers. I'm sure they'll do just fine. So planted them uh, three days ago. They're uh, doing real well. Don't see uh, that they uh, had any problems with the transplanting. And then I have uh, 
another six or seven broccolis over here. We eat the broccoli much, much faster than the, than the cabbage. Let's go take a look at the rest of the cabbage. So I have most of the cabbage planted over here in the, uh, the other side of the garden. There's three types of cabbages. Uh, the Dutch flathead, and then the early Jersey Wakefield. They look the prettiest at this at this stage stage. And then some questionable all season cabbages. I think uh, in another video I mentioned I thought I planted these once before and wasn't happy with them, but I went ahead and planted some more. And uh, they're the most behind of all the cabbages, at least at this point. So how's everything else doing? Well, here are my potatoes. They're growing. They don't look like the healthiest potato plants I've ever had, but uh, you know, hopefully we'll get some potatoes off of these. My Red Ripper peas, Red Ripper cow peas, they're basically done now. So I've harvested, uh, I grew these for seed primarily and have harvested, oh, a quart of seeds. So probably enough seeds for more than four years for me. And then also another quart of uh, fresh, fresh peas. So we can try them out and see how they taste. I'm pretty sure they're going to be great. But these are ready to come out now. They're still flowering. A uh, few flowers every every morning when I come out, but uh, I think that they're done now. A sad situation on the carrots. Got uh, lots of carrots up, but all around the outside, something's been digging them up. So we'll get some carrots, but not much of a harvest this year. We'll see if we plant another bed. My second planting of onions germinated a lot better, but uh, still not great. That's okay. We'll, uh, we'll get some onion starts in January and uh, fill out these two beds with those onions. The onions I'm growing for seed, they're looking good. So at least I should have some uh, better seed to use for next season. I think these speckled butter beans are uh, starting to slow down as well. Not going to get a tremendous harvest off of these. This was uh, more of just a, an attempt to see how they do. I don't think uh, they do as well planted late in the season. They don't do as well as the uh, Red Rippers. But I'm going to get seeds, more than I planted, and uh, I've opened up a couple of these, and they're just beautiful, beautiful seeds. The bananas continue to look great. It's really fun growing these. Really enjoy it. And uh, Moringa is still looking pretty healthy. Hope to harvest the uh, turmeric and ginger sometime in uh, in November. The turmeric looks like it did real well. The ginger looks a little bit puny again this year, but uh, we'll check that out later in the month. So that's what the garden looks like here in early November at Deep South Texas. Still a lot going on. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it that thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.